Welcome, friends, to my series, Teching You Out. My name is Chloe George. She's so cute. And I am a creative entrepreneur, a friends lover, interior designer, lover of all things tech and digital, but most importantly, your new biz BFF. In this series, I will walk you through the ins and outs of the tech software you will need to automate, organize, and elevate your biz so you can get back to doing the things that you love the most creating. So make sure to check it out. Hi, friends, and thank you for coming back to join me for another Teching You Out session. Um, this video this week is going to be all about creating your podcast on Anchor. Now, Anchor is one of my favorite platforms for hosting your podcast. It's not the only one. I do want to make that very clear. It is the one I choose to use at the moment. There are podcasts being, I think another one is called Sprout. There's a few other options, but uh, at the moment, this is really the one I go for. It is the one that is working for me. So I am going to show you how to create your podcast using Anchor. So we want to go to anchor.fm. It's uh, right here. This is the easiest way to make a podcast. It, it really is. They create, you can create, distribute, host, and monetize your podcast, and it is 100% free. So once you go into on anchor.com, I'm sorry, it's anchor.fm, this is their main page. It does show you some information uh, about what Anchor does. It is the easiest way to make a podcast. Everything you need is 100% free. Anchor will create, distribute, monetize your podcast. You can do it from your device, so you don't actually have to go in here. Um, one of the cool features about Anchor is that you can actually record right from your phone into their platform and kind of upload that way. Or you can use your own editing service or um, application and then import your podcast episode into the platform. So you kind of have two ways to do that. What's cool about podcast platforms like this is that they will distribute for you so for example they'll distribute to google podcast to spotify to a few other sources uh, you can read more if you want to know where to distribute and once it's hosted on anchor you can actually take what is called an rss feed and upload it and apply it to itunes or apple podcasts so you can do that as well of course you'll get analytics and you will get an access to a free library of music if you need to. But we're gonna, I'm going to show you, walk you through how to make your podcast. So what you are going to do is you're going to here, sign, you can do it, sign up. Or you can click here and where it says make your podcast. It's going to ask you for just, as usual, just um, some account information. So you will um, fill that information up and hit sign up. So once you're signed up, and I'm going to actually switch over to my platform because obviously it's already done. Um, so once you sign up and everything is in the system for you, it's going to take you to your dashboard. Now, this is where under episodes, this is where all of your episodes will be listed. So once you get through the sign up process, um, it is going to ask you for information on the podcast as far as um, images. If you don't have a podcast show image, it's going to ask you for a description if you want. So once you're ready to upload that first episode, I'm going to show you my podcast pilot to kind of show you what it looks like and what the information that Anchor does need from you in order to go ahead and push that out. So this is my podcast pilot. I did published this April 1st. So it says this episode has been published and can be heard everywhere your podcast is available. So this is the description of the podcast that I had inputted, um, written somewhere else in another document and kind of inputted into the podcast information. This is obviously the number of plays. This is the podcast artwork that I uploaded as well. And then here are just a few little functions that you can share this on Facebook, Twitter. You can copy the link or you can embed this into your website, which is a pretty cool function. Again, it gives you like episode analytics, your episode performance, how it stacks up with your other episodes. It also allows you to have different segments on your show. 
and you can upload that and kind of move around the where you want them so if you want episode one to be in the top episode two to be below you can kind of do that so that's a pretty cool feature of that and again it gives you so it gives you settings so remember i was saying that it distributes for you and you can get an rss feed to send to apple or when you apply to apple Podcasts. this is what they're going to ask you but anchor is so cool that it does it for you it creates that rss feed for you so you just have to do is just copy it here and then go into apple Podcasts and kind of apply so once you create your account it's going to ask you of course what the name of the podcast is going to be, um, the name of your account. So it, it breaks it up into these different links, right? So you can copy here, let's, let's say someone asks us for your Spotify. So you can go ahead and copy your Spotify link here because these are automatically done for you. So once you have your name, you fill out all the information for your podcast, it's going to kind of do this here for you. And then what you're going to want to do with other um, distribution or other podcast platforms, some of them you will have to manually distribute yourself. And if you have, it tells you here, if you manually distribute your podcast to additional platforms, paste your links below. And this is where you would, if you had your podcast out there to iTunes, you can paste it there. Um, and then what it'll do is once you paste it here, it will actually come up here in this list. And mine right here, when I got the okay from Apple Podcast that it can now be found on Apple, it supplied me with the link. I pasted it down here and they kind of put it in this done for you list, which is pretty cool. So what I'm going to show you now is whenever you have a new episode, so I'm going to go back to episodes and I have them all here. Now, again, you can record directly into Anchor using your microphone or on your phone. If that's, a, that's something that you want to do, you can do that. They do offer that. What I like to do is record mine on a different uh, platform, edit it outside of this, and then import it into Anchor. I find that way that it works a lot better and it sounds a lot better. But if you have great equipment, you can go ahead and do that. So when you're ready to create your episode, let's just say that I didn't have any episodes up, I would hit the new episode button. And this is what I was mentioning. What you do here is you can hit record. If you have a great mic connected to your computer, you can just capture your audio right from your browser right here. You don't have to go outside of it and record it and find the recording um, software or anything like that. You can do it right in here. You can reuse your previously uploaded audio. If you have something that you kind of save, you can save it here. You can add songs from Spotify to your episode because Anchor is very linked with Spotify. Um, messages. I've never used this, but listeners voice messages to your episode. You can do that, I guess. And then you can add transitions. You can find free music and sound effects right on the Anchor um, website, so which is pretty cool. But once you if you if you record like me outside of anchor what you're going to do is you are going to upload your file here so i'm going to demonstrate how i would do that obviously i'm not going to save it because it's already up here so i'm going to click to upload or drag files here so i can do that i am going to go to just take anything really uh season two episode two which is the last episode i just uploaded um, once I do that, it's going to start uploading and it tells you how much time you have left for that upload. If you recorded a sponsored segment, whether it's something that Anchor provided you with, or you have an outside sponsor, which at the beginning of starting your podcast, you're not going to have too many of those. But if you do, um, you can add the sponsored spe segment right here and, and it'll add it to your to your episode for this particular one it is an anchor sponsored segment so they would like their segment or this particular one to go before your episode starts so that's how that goes so we're going to wait on this to kind of process 
And then what happens when it processes, it goes directly into the, we can click out of this because again, I've already uploaded this, but it's going to go into your episode details. So you can go into here and you'll see that what you're going to put in is going to ask you for, well, this is not, let's see if I can edit and maybe show you guys. Okay, so this is what it looks like. So when you are finished uploading, it's going to bring you to this page. You are going to title your episode. You are going to write your episode's description. You are going to choose whether you want to publish this right away or choose a date. You, you have the option of numbering um, your season and your episode number. You have options for an episode type, full trailer, bonus, content, and then you can upload an episode art. You can use the same one you always use, or you can change it with every episode. It's totally up to you. And once you hit submit, this is going to say update episode again because I've already um, published this, but it'll say um, schedule now, publish now, or publish later. One of those words. I can't remember what it is. Um, but it, it will have it there. And then once it's ready to go, it will appear on your episodes list. And once, if let's say if you publish, if you are recording now and you hit publish, it's going to automatically go to all of these different um, podcast hosts, like um, Ample Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, and whatever else that they have distributed for you. Sometimes there is a lag. So for Apple Podcasts, I believe it's like a two, three hour lag. It might appear on Spotify first and then Apple later. So you just kind of have to watch that. But usually it's kind of everywhere. But the nice thing is, is that if you have already um, the episode and you kind of want to put it on your website, you can go into view your episode details. Grab your embedded code here, which is you just do copy embedded post and you're going to go into your website. I'm going to go into mine now. Of course, I can never spell my own name. And what I've done here is that instead of just it living on Anchor and it living on um, living in the platforms like Spotify, Apple, Google, Actually, if you go to my website, which is the show notes, I have copied the embedded the embedded um, code and pasted it in here. So you can while you're list while you're reading these show notes, you can actually just hit listen from here, or you can hit the play button and it'll actually play. And that's it. And then you can come back to your anchor. Um, dashboard your anchor app on your phone or the website and kind of check over your analytics see where you're performing well this one says not enough data yet not sure why um, this has been out for a week um, and then it tells you kind of like how it's doing as opposed to your other ones it tells you also um, where people are listening to to you from so it'll give you kind of like a, a rundown of the countries that are currently listening to you so again this is you know and then th your dashboard is going to give you an overall your entire overlook of your podcast um, if you have sponsored money um, it'll tell you what your balance is it'll tell you how many listeners you are it's unique listeners you're getting your your audience how many plays the performance again it'll you know your trajectory which ones didn't do so well and you hover over it and it can kind of tell you where people stopped, where they clicked out, how long they listened to it for, um, your listeners by location. So this is super, super fun because if you wanted to use this analytics, and this is all going into marketing, you can kind of, oh, look, somebody from Nigeria is listening. Maybe I'll, you know, cater to them in an, in an episode. I mean, mine is business related, so we're going to be covering everywhere. But let's say you, you had something with current events and you see that somebody from Nigeria is actually listening to you. You might want to talk about something going on in Nigeria. Uh, this is your listening platform for people listen to you the most. It looks like uh, overwhelmingly Apple Podcast is everyone's, um, my listeners at least, their, their platform of choice. Um, Spotify up next. 
it even tells you it even breaks it down by gender which is pretty cool and um age so you know who you're catering to who's listening to you the most and for me it's millennials which is no surprise um so that's anchor in a nutshell that is how to create your podcast using anchor for more tech videos and to check out the series make sure you subscribe hit that notification bell and share with your friends